Hey guys, welcome to or back to my channel. So today we are doing a Q&A that I popped up on Instagram for you guys all about what I am doing for competing and everything competing for my first time bikini bodybuilding show. And you are fool's girl. Okay, so I'm going to try and do this as quick fire as possible. If you didn't know, I'm competing on the 22nd of August at the Two Bros Body By O show in Maidenhead. I'm doing the bikini first timers and also the juniors bikini. And yeah, it'll be my first ever show. And I thought I'd do this video to give you an insight of what I'm doing for my prep and just loads of things in terms of bodybuilding and everything you wanted to know. So without further ado, let's get into the video. First question is, what are your current goals regarding your body and the competitions? So as this is my first time, obviously I'm not going to put a load of pressure on myself to come out on top. Obviously I want to place as high as I can, hopefully be in the top three. But if I don't place, that's absolutely fine. Everyone who gets the stage is a winner at the end of the day. And it's my first show. It's basically just going to be a big learning experience. It's going to be a lot of stress compared to going into like a second show. Because I'll know what happens, what it's like, what will be going on like with my surroundings. Because it is a very stressful time. Like You have to plan everything to the T. I'm just going to try and enjoy the day literally just as much as possible. And just live for the moment. Like you only get one first time. And... I just want to make it the best I can and the happiest and stress-free as possible and just take it as a big learning experience but obviously I want to place as high as I can hopefully in the top three and if not then that's fine because I'll just take all my feedback that I get from the judges a few days later and improve from then on so just my goal is to do as best as I can and just really enjoy the day and really take on a big learning experience and meet some really nice people and see where I can go with it. How lean do you need to be on stage for the competition? I mean, you look so shredded already and have amazing physique. So firstly, thank you so much. I wouldn't say I look that shredded. Um, I still have quite a low body fat and I don't have the greatest deal of muscle mass. Being lean is subjective because you could be like really underweight and lean which I have been in the past which is not good but you can also be healthier weight and lean and also just so muscular like a figure athlete lean so it's very subjective never really know what the judges are going to see on the day it's not actually necessarily about how low weight you can get especially if you're competing you want to try and have like as much muscle mass as possible so you're so the lowest weight athlete isn't necessarily going to place on top compared to someone who has slightly more body fat and more muscle mass because there is a misconception and Ashley Coltswasser I don't know how to pronounce the second name and Adam from Team Elite Physique always talk about this it's like the misconception is that you have to be such a low body fat as a female bikini athlete in order to place anywhere or do anything but in reality you don't have to be really really low body fat especially as much as possible and people say they're much lower body fat than they actually are also how lean you have to be is very personal to you as well i'm going to say that i'm not going to lose a ton of weight from where i am now because i know that would just be counterproductive i'll just probably as i have really low body fat as well i know that i can lose weight really quickly so if i go into calorie deficit now and i'm six weeks out then i will just lose way too much weight and it will be not good even in a small calorie deficit i just lose weight weight very quickly so my plan is to probably go on a very very slight deficit two weeks out like i mean very slightly like 50 calories a day so 350 calories so not much at all just so i can like lose a bit of water just feel a little bit leaner and tighter and then in peak week i've got a whole carb loading and water manipulation planned out that i've done Obviously things will change on the week and hopefully that will manipulate my physique a lot um, and with a tan and everything as well, hopefully it will do wonders. And I've just got to see how it goes and learn from that. And leading on from that it says, am I cutting? So no, right now, as I said, I'm not. I'm just in maintenance. I'm still eating a lot and this is where it gets very confusing for me as well coaching myself because I am eating 2700 calories and that is a very high amount of calories for someone who is six weeks out from a bikini bodybuilding competition I'm eating at maintenance and a lot of people right now are cutting and on really low calories and high cardio and I am the complete opposite so going into a peak week will be very different for me compared to another athlete so that's why it's really hard for me to coach myself but I know I can do it and 
I'm not cutting at the minute, but I, as I said, I might do a very slight deficit, either 50 calories or 100 calories a day, two weeks out, depending on how I'm feeling and but nothing major. I don't want to make massive changes and then when I'm already in quite a good place now. So I just want to see what I can bring and learn from there and then bring it on to my next show. Like this is going to be my first show as I said. It's more of a learning curve than anything and just trying my best. Also from there, do you have a coach? No I don't and that is a very hard thing. Um, I would have a coach, I know who I'd want to coach me. However, I can't invest in that because I'm investing in my business right now which is a load of money. Competing in itself is a heck ton of money. Um, and yeah, my investing in my personal training business launch is extremely expensive as well. So all of this is, a lot of my savings is going and I can't afford anything else. Like, just doing the show itself is a push and a half for money, let's just say that. But I would love to, especially hope to get a coach in the future. How much it is costing you and how can you afford it? can afford it because I've saved up for many years now. I'm very good with money. I am not someone who spends money a lot. Um, and when I do, it's on something valuable or something I need. And I'll treat myself very little, which I should really treat myself more. But I'm using this opportunity, like competing, as my holiday for the last year and this year. Like I was, as you probably know, I was meant to be going to Australia. I saved up for that and I've been working my ass off because I haven't been able to go to Australia to save up even more. And now I'm using a big chunk of that money to compete. So at the minute, it's actually overall after show day like the whole thing is going to cost over a grand it is an expensive sport and I've already spent nearly all of that um but with everything so like the I've already booked accommodation travel but there's you know tan makeup everything I've already spent most of it because I had to book everything but it is over a grand it's very expensive <laughs> or nearly over a grand anyway I think it's going to end up over a grand how many shows are you competing in? I'm gonna see where I go in this show and then see from then on. I have an idea of some shows I want to do for the end of this year. Um, but I'm not 100% sure if I'll do it yet. I might be doing something in October that is very big. and not too sure yet. And I'm also not sure if I'm gonna compete in other federations other than Two Bros, NPC slash IFBB. I might try PCA, but I'm not quite sure because I'm not really fond of the posing compared to Two Bros. Um, but I'll try. I might try out, um, just see how I do. I've got some plans and I've got some things in my head, especially in October is the big one, but we'll see. you have to stay tuned. What's your fave and least fave thing about all of this? So I actually don't have a least fave thing because I'm passionate about it. I'm driven and I think it's a privilege to be able to do it. And that I am so motivated and driven to do it. I'd say if it was anything for the least favourite thing, it's not really a least favourite thing, it's just something that is the hardest part of it. For me personally, it's just the mindset wise, comparing yourself to everyone else who you think will be either competing in a show, who is competing in a show, or even comparing yourself to the IFBB pros, you get very in your head, overanalyzing yourself, and you start to see things that you'd never really see before, especially when you're posing, I find. And I think that is the biggest thing for me, mindset wise, and my favorite thing, connecting with so many girls and just it's just such a positive atmosphere and actually doing something I'm passionate about like my favorite thing is literally just grinding so hard every day and like knowing I'm driven and passionate and I am putting everything into it and I will get something out of it like I'm doing this for me and this is just my favorite thing about it I would rather be where I am today than stuck where I was a few years ago in a shit place doing nothing with my life that was productive and literally just dying I'd rather be fucking like living my best life and doing something I'm passionate about um and it's just my favourite thing. All of it is my favourite thing. Do you want to do it yearly? So yes, I want to be a bikini athlete, so I want to keep doing this. And as it's not just a one-time thing that I want to do, I want to continue to progress, to grow, to come out on top. I really would love a pro card. Like, I'm not gonna say I need one this year because it's my first year, but I'm going to obviously aim as the end goal to have a pro card, not the end goal, because there's never an end goal, but as a main goal, to get a pro card and to just keep competing after that. I'm not gonna be someone who gets a pro card and just stops competing, like what's the point in that? Like I'm genuinely passionate about the sport and I want to compete all the time. So yeah, I want to get a pro card and keep going and every year, obviously I'm not gonna compete every single year, I might do, who knows, but a lot of people take full on off seasons um, or improvement season and yeah, that's gonna be definitely the hardest part for me, 100%, like coming out from being shredded to going into improvement season, seeing like lines fade and all of that, it's gonna be really, really hard for me. It's all the process, you've got to learn the process, you've got to go through it in order to get better and 
it will pay off eventually so yeah I'm not gonna go into a full-on a dirty bulk kind of thing like that is not me <laughs> I'm not gonna do that but I will gain weight obviously in order to gain muscle and then cut down again to try and bring my best each year so it's all a journey and all part of the process and you just gotta love every single second of it if you get a place mark in top 10 5 3 or whatever do you get prizes I think they meant or gifts so no it depends what federation you're with but with two bros you will end up going through and then getting a pro card hopefully <laughs> that'll be like the gift um, you get like medals like, swords are very popular this year obviously you get trophies medals and all of that but you don't really get money i think in pca you get money so in two bros it's more so you get higher up and then you can hopefully get your pro card what made you compete so i've wanted to compete for years now i just never have took the plunge to do it and also i wasn't in the best place in my body um and definitely mindset as well but now i'm so driven so motivated in the best place i've been and i just really want to compete like people don't know but i've literally been following bodybuilders for years now i've always been so into it and i've always just th thought everyone looks fucking incredible i've just have so much respect for the dedication of everyone in the sport and it's just something i feel like i always feel like i'm just meant to be in this sport it sounds so stupid but even though I haven't even competed yet, I just feel like this is for me, like this is what I want to do. And yeah, you just it's like I know that I really want to move to Australia, but it's like I know I really want to compete in bodybuilding. There's, they're the only two things that I know I really want to do, well, as well as be, become a personal trainer. But everything into fitness and everything into Australia, those two things I know I 100% want to do. And that's kind of the same with bodybuilding. I 100% just feel like this is it and this is my time. And there's no point in wasting time anymore being too nervous to do it. Is the diet really strict? No, I always take if it fits your macros approach. Everyone's diet is also different, um, but I don't see it as strict at all because I'm just following everything that I did before. Because as I said, I've always literally trained and ate as if I'm a competitor. Like I am, <laughs> I've just always on it with my nutrition. I've tracked macros for years. I've always like been very good with my food choices, and I've always ate how I still am eating now. Nothing has changed in that aspect. Like. I've literally trained and like so hard as you can see like from my before and after pictures on Instagram and TikToks and I've always ate really good in order to get me to where I am today. Will you be adapting your usual foods beforehand like less calories or different macros volume ETC? So I don't know what it means beforehand I think they mean like peak week. On peak week I will. I normally as you know I'm like the queen of ice cream I eat loads um, of ice cream but I will be dropping my fibre intake quite a lot on peak week find especially after eating ice cream this girl this girl has a very bloated belly let me tell you that i'll be decreasing the amount of fiber i have so i won't be having like big ice cream bowls or anything obviously i'll still have fruit and everything which is not as much as i do now because i eat a lot um i'll be manipulating my macros on the last week as well doing like a carb depletion carb load as well and obviously with the carb depletion and carb load i'm not actually manipulating my fats and proteins so yes i'll be going into a deficit going up from there but i'll still be in a slight deficit and i might as i said do a slight deficit the week before will anyone be watching you compete a lot of people actually asked me to come and watch and i have kindly rejected that just for the first show i just want to be in my own element i feel like i already have really major stage fright i don't no one really knows this but like growing up i never got on the stage for like nativity in school i was the only child who would never do that i'd stay at the side of the stage because i didn't want to do that i had the biggest stage fright ever and i just feel like it would put too much pressure on me and also i'd be overwhelmed like knowing that everyone's watching me in the crowd like either from instagram or my friends or anything like so my sister is the only person coming with me um i would have let my mum come with me as well but she's working and the day before and it's just going to be too much for her um it's just going to decrease a lot of stress and pressure on the day i just want to live in this moment um and just as it's my first time just suck it all in like this is my day and i just want to focus on me what keeps you going during your workouts so if you know for the last like few weeks i've actually been crying in my workouts <laughs> sometimes um there's a mixture of the fact that i got quite a bit of tiktok hate recently but mainly like the last two workouts have literally just been because it would be so i've been pushing so hard and it's so painful like so painful um in a good way obviously not an injury way um because that'd be stupid but yeah what keeps me going is i literally just envision myself envisioning is such an underrated 
thing like we, even in sports psychology we did this in sports and exercise science just envisioning just makes your performance so much better makes everything so much better if you envision where you want to be if you envision yourself on the stage what you want to look like like i always think like when i'm doing my hip thrust i start crying and i was like i want those glutes like i want those glutes popping i want that hamstring tying in my rdls like i will push hard and you just got to envision what you want to look like what you want to achieve and that is enough to drive and push me through my workouts. Has your training changed to prep for competition? Not at all, the only thing that's changed is I'm doing lots of posing now and that's adding more and I'm also making sure my walks are long and not just I feel like I do a 15 minute one around the village. Nothing's really changed apart from I'm training really hard and I have actually made sure I'm doing calves three times a week as well because I neglected calves for so long. I don't know why, I just did and now I'm like oh my god I need some calves. <laughs> so yeah I've been training calves three times a week and that's it really. And also obviously I've been really really pushing hard. Like, I was pushing hard before but never to the point that I was crying so much because it hurt and that's what I'm doing now. <laughs> not every session obviously but yeah. Are you scared of being too small? That's my fear of competing. Yes, very much. If I was touching it before, you always think to yourself, oh gosh, I'm, I don't have enough muscle. It's just a big comparison game. But I've got to remember, this is my first year. I'm only 19 and I've got a long career ahead of me in this. Like, obviously not career, but you know what I mean? Like a long athletic career, you could say, in this. Um, I'm only 19. Look, there's competitors up there who are in, nearly in their 30s. Like everyone always says, I want to be a junior still because you can still do junior category, which goes up to 23, and a lot of people are over that. So I need to remember how old I am. And yeah, I always think I'm too small. Maybe I am too small, but that's not going to stop me from getting on stage and just trying my best because, it's, as I said, it's a very subjective sport. And yes, I might be too small, but I can get the improvements, get the feedback, and then improve from there on. I think that's mainly it. Some of the other ones were just like people asking their own questions, like saying, oh, how do I get a better body composition and all that? But that's not the point of this, guys. <laughs> but if you ever have any more questions, make sure you follow me on Instagram at ScarlettVFit. And a lot of the time I'll put up a question box and you can put your questions in there. That's how you interact with me and get your questions in on YouTube where I answer them all. I hope that gave you a little run down of my whole bodybuilding kind of prep um this is the start of something amazing i'm gonna think i'm gonna try and do weekly vlogs i'm not very good at vlogging because i just feel like no one cares but i will try my best to do vlogs at least from four weeks out um a lot is going on in my life right now so we'll just see how it goes follow all my socials stay up to date with my prep and just seeing my journey through to my first ever bikini bodybuilding show i'll see you in the next video bye I'm not a man, 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 I'